Good morning, SJCJC family. Welcome to our virtual flag raising ceremony and ecumenical service for the year 2020. My name is Mr. Vasquez, I'll be your MC for today. Uh, we want to begin by welcoming you to this virtual ceremony and it's a pleasure for me to welcome you for all of us even being at home to be able to celebrate uh, Belize and the birth of our nation September 21st but everything that is September. Uh, September is the month that most Belizeans anticipate to showcase their Belizeanness. Patriotism is in full bloom and they demonstrate it with Carnival, Tent Parade and Independence Day. It is a month filled with events to highlight everything Belizean. This year 2020, however, Belizeans have been put in a strange position by the COVID-19 pandemic. It has forced us to rethink, but not forget how to celebrate this glorious month. At SJCJC, we are part of the celebration and to demonstrate our commitment, we have a flag raising ceremony. The ceremony highlights what has not changed for Belize due to the circumstances of 2020. Our flag demonstrates the strength and resilience of our nation. The Belizean flag is the embodiment of this year's team, overcoming adversity, creating opportunity. Belizeans unite for prosperity. The flag is a symbol of our Belizeans overcoming adversity. And even more, our school is committed to this as they embark on online teaching. We create opportunities for interaction and creating a semblance of normalcy. Through the many Zoom meetings and most important, we stand united to achieve prosperity for the nation as we shape young minds and souls. This trying time has allowed us to accompany young people in the creation of a hope-filled future as the online platforms for teaching has allowed us to keep them engaged, to let them know we are here and to have them constantly reminded that there is hope after this pandemic and that SJCJC remains committed to keeping that hope burning. As we raise our flag today, remember SJCJC family, our adver com overcoming adversity, creating opportunity, Belizeans unite for prosperity and always keep hope burning. I now invite you all to stand and be reverent as I ask Miss Lucy Zuniga to lead us in the national prayer. Almighty and eternal God, who through Jesus Christ has revealed your glory to all nations, please protect and preserve Belize, our beloved country. God of might, wisdom and justice, please assist our Belizean government and people with your Holy Spirit of counsel and fortitude. Let your light of your divine wisdom direct their plans and endeavors so that with your help, we may attain our just objectives. With your guidance, may all our endeavors tend to peace, social justice, liberty, national happiness, the increase of industry, sobriety, and useful knowledge. We pray, O oh God of mercy, for all of us, that we may be blessed in the knowledge and sanctified in the observance of your most holy law, that we may be preserved in union and in peace which the world itself cannot give. And after enjoying the blessings of this life, please admit us there, Lord, to that eternal reward that you have prepared for those who love you. Amen. I now ask you to remain standing as we ask Kaylen Johnson to lead us in the national anthem while the BDF install our flag. Oh, land of the free, by the Caribbean Sea, our manhood we pledge to the liberty. No tyrants here linger, this bus must flee in a stronghold haven of democracy. The blood of our sons, which hallows the sun, brought freedom from slavery, our precious blood. By the might of truth and the grace of God, no longer shall we be yours of wood. Please. 
has blessed me with wealth untold O'er mountains and valleys where prairies stroll Our fathers, the baymen, valiant and bold drove back Invaders, this heritage hold From proud Rio under to Osar stone Through coral all over blue lagoon Keep watch with the angels, the stars and moon. For freedom comes tomorrow's noon. Arise, ye sons of the big man's clan. Put on your armor. I now call on the club leaders and the teachers to lead us in the petitions. As we unfurl your colors through the white, the scarlet, and royal blue, we pledge allegiance and with pride salute you on your windward ride. We pledge to make you always fly in our bit of land and sky. May the unity for which you stand infuse each heart and join each hand, making us one against all foes. As under God, our nation grows. And so we say, fly high, fly proud, fly free. Always our standard be. For continuance blessings on our flag and all it represents, we pray to the Lord. We ask the Lord, be close to the members of government. Give them the vision and courage as they ponder decisions affecting in our country, especially in the heart of our citizens, we pray in the name of the Lord. Lord, send us your spirit to open the hearts of your children, that we may discern your holy will, inspiring us a love and desire to surrender ourselves to serving others. For this we ask, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who work for equality and justice, that they may be supported and encouraged by our prayers today. We pray to the Lord. Dear Lord, as many nations become global due to the advancement in technology, help us to learn from each other. Teach us tolerance. Give each of us discernment when making decisions and drafting up legislation. As the days become increasingly dark in our country and around the world, let the light of your love shine on our land. May the peace and glory reign in our nation forever. We pray to the Lord. Lord. Make this great land and all its people know clearly your will, that they may fulfill the destiny ordained for us in the salvation of the nations and restoring of all things in Christ. We pray to the Lord. For the three institutions represented by our flag today, the spiritual power of the church, the SUC community, and our country. We pray for the continuance blessings on all three, and that the divine power of the Holy Spirit be placed on all for continuance protection from all natural disasters. For this, we pray to the Lord. Dear Lord, we pray that our leaders model your character, lead with discerning hearts and bold faith. Guide them so that they may act in ways that build our community and country. Energize them, lift their spirits, and ground them in the knowledge of who they are and the role that they were meant to fulfill. Lord, guide them so that they may be sincere and courteous in their manners and generous to one and all. For all Christians throughout the world, for an end to those things that cause division among us, and for hearts open to recognize the presence of Christ in one another, we pray to the Lord. For our school community, that we will continue to form the hearts and minds of all students, allowing them to grow in faith and intellect. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. I now call on Jada Daly to give us a poem called A True Patriot. 
Do you love the leaves like I do? Do you honor the red, the white, and the blue? Do you still show love to the gay men, the national prayer, and the anthem? Can you see them? Some people are only interested in the country's beauty while neglecting basic pride and beauty. Some are only interested in the rivers and keys while bringing shame and disgrace to the leaves. A true patriot will never forget the names of Phil Gosson and Samuel Hayes. We must remind our sons and daughters of Antonius Oberanes and Isaiah Luther. We should raise our beliefs and thoughts every day, not only on Independence Day. We must never forget the rugged road, going as far back as the Barnaby School. I now call on Father Jeremy Zippel to lead us in the official blessings. Sisters and brothers, let us bow our heads and pray for God's blessing. God, our creator, giver of all life, we entrust Belize to your loving care. You are the rock upon which this beautiful nation was founded. You alone are the true source of all of our cherished rights of life, of liberty, of all our freedoms. Lord, reclaim this land, land for your glory and dwell here among your people. Send your spirit to blow through this land, bringing refreshment, bringing new life. Send your spirit to touch the hearts of our nation's leaders. Help them always to serve and strive after the common good. Help them to remember especially those at the margins of society, the poor, the vulnerable, those who are discriminated against. Help all of us, Lord, to seek after your peace and your understanding. Help us to always respect one another in our differences, to see the beauty in each of us, a beauty that reflects the fact that all of us are created in your beautiful image and likeness. Help us to lend a hand to one another, to see each other as our neighbors, not as enemies. Help us to create a society in which all of us, in the words of the prophet Micah, strive to do justice, to love kindness, and to walk always humbly with our God. Through the intercession of Mary, our mother, lead us always on your path of light, of love, of mercy, of truth, of peace the path of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We now have a special item for you by one of our very own, Shania Garnett, who will lead us in a song called Unconditionally.
with this concludes this year's virtual flag raising ceremony and ecumenical service. Remember, overcoming adversity, creating opportunity, Belizeans, unite for prosperity.